Good morning and welcome to worship with Marietta First Church of the Nazarene. I was thinking this week for all of you who are around my age, I would love to have Romper Room Miss Jane's Magic Mirror today. I would say Romper Stomper Bomper Boo Magic Mirror Tell Me True and then I would hold it up and I would look and I would see Bryson and Keeley and all the Adams family and I would see the blooms out in Fleming and I would see Marilyn Bookman who's having a birthday today but I don't so I'll just wish all of you a wonderful Sabbath and I hope that you enjoy worship this morning with us let me remind you that you can find this not just on Facebook but also later in the week on YouTube and if you have someone that you can share that with just go to the website click on the YouTube link and you'll find us there I have just a few items of business before we get started with worship and Bob asked me to let you know ahead of time we're going to be singing Standing on the Promises, Whom Shall I Fear? And at the end of the service we'll end with Build My Life. Pastor also asked me to let you know you might want to have a Bible handy so this is your chance to run and grab one. Now for the business, thank you first of all for being so faithful and sending in your tithes and your offerings. Just a reminder you can do that through the mail and we'll see that they get deposited and you can do it online or through texting. One thing I wanted to let you know is both online and texting have available uh, applying your funds to different things. So you can still do Faith Promise, you can still do the building project, and you can put it in the general fund for your ties. That's all I have. I hope you have a great day and please join us in worship. Good morning. So glad to be able to join you this morning. Sing to um, worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And 2 Peter 1 4 it says, He has given us His very great and precious promises. Let's praise Him this morning. <clears throat> Standing on the promises of Christ, I Underneath my feet, you are my soul. 
Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you all, even so digitally. Uh, let's have a word of prayer this morning. Jesus Christ, what a blessing it is to come before you, even in separate households, uh, and to worship you together. Um, it's just such a wonderful opportunity and a gift that you have given us uh, to give glory and praise to you at every single moment. Uh, and so we thank you for uh, the blessing of this day, the blessing of this time, and the blessing of the community that we can have um, together even now. Jesus, we lift up everyone in our community this morning, everyone who needs a touch from you, perhaps some healing, some comfort, some encouragement. Would you be our comforter, our healer, our peace? Would you come before each and every one of us this morning and shower us with a heavenly love? Let us feel your grace and mercy so abundantly this morning. Lord, whatever the needs are of, of our people, of this community, we ask that you would lay them on our hearts, that you would encourage us and fan the flame of our faithfulness to you, that we might be able to meet the needs of each other. Allow us to be faithful servants of you, even in the midst of our present situation. Jesus, we pray for our nation and our leaders as they work diligently to try to solve the issues we are facing. Would you guide them? Would you lead them? Would you comfort them? And would you be in control of all that is going on? Would you allow our leaders to put their trust, to put their hope in you? Would you be our peace in these days? Jesus, we just, uh, we thank you. We are so overwhelmed um, by your great mercy and love, all the things that you have done for us, all the things that you are doing. And most importantly, Lord, we pray that your gospel, your truth would still go out into the ends of the earth, even now, regardless of pandemics, that your name, your truth, the reality that you came and dwelt among us and died for us would still be proclaimed let the world know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are Lord of all things, drawing and redeeming this world to yourself at every moment. Let us be your hands and feet, your mouthpiece, proclaiming the good news that you have brought before us. In your wonderful and holy name we pray this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, our scripture this morning comes from 1 Timothy. Um, Chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. You are aware that all who are in Asia turned away from me, among whom are Phygelus and Hermogenes. May the Lord grant mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. But when he arrived in Rome, he searched for me earnestly and found me. May the Lord grant him to find mercy from the Lord on that day. And you well know all of the service he rendered at Ephesus. The word of the Lord to us this morning. Amen. Amen. 